Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the video series on UFT automation. Uh, in this video, we will uh, look at a uh, couple more output uh, values. By the way, this is uh, the continuation video uh, on the output values. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and look at the design output values. Okay, um, okay let's look at uh, file content and XML output value from resource in this video. Uh, I have uh, an init uh, script um, for the for these uh, checkpoints, sorry, the output values, I, I really don't need uh, to start this uh, application, the website, uh, the, the Mercury Tours. I'll go ahead and start adding those um, output values. Uh, let me say it's design output value, and let me start with the file content output value. Click on that. Okay and uh, I want to pick this text file sample text one and it displays you know all these lines and the way this works is let's say for example you want to get the date from this uh, you know line that's the actual by the way that that's the content that's the actual content of this file and let's say you want to get the line one uh, from the text file so what you do is um, just enable that and then click this icon to add parameter to the line and then uh, do its output values you know uh, it's a line one it will say line one and it will say date uh, so that we can you know recognize it and we are using data table and global sheet okay that and you know we replace that line with this and let's say next I want to do the uh, globally training .com. enable that click that and here I'll say line 3 uh, website then I'll do uh, delivers live online QA training check that line click on the second uh, icon I'll do line 5 underscore QA. Click OK. So as you can see, you know, it's the data table line 5 uh, uh, underscore QA and it's a DD global sheet. OK. Let me save that. So now I have this within the script and if I go to object repository and I have that here and within here that's a path and then this is where I'm doing one line th one three and five let's go ahead and close that and let me run the script so that we can look at the results let's see what it does so wait finish running here are our results let's go there okay so it capture the capture the data so it got these three values now you know as you can tell you know this is the runtime data table and it's a runtime global data table and that's where it's you know putting all these values um, since I know it's in the runtime I can even use that after you know grabbing the text I can actually use it to display message as well let me uh, quickly demonstrate that. Okay, what I did was I did uh, message box, and all I did was uh, you know enter this you know, data table, and I'm saying that's the column name, and that's the sheet I want to work with, which is a global sheet. I know that you know it's in the global sheet. That's where they are, and that's the column name. What I can do is make a copy of that and uh, paste it a couple of times so we display a message for 
each value that you capture and as you can see you know these I mean these are all blank uh, within the design da data table but you know the output is uh, done while it is running so it grabs those values and populates into the runtime data data table and this gets displayed from the runtime data table so this will be two and that is website just change it here website and then here it will be QA so what I would expect is when I run this the system will you know go to this uh, you know it's kind of like a checkpoint anyway to that file and that it will display the line one then it will display the line two and line oh sorry that's incorrect line one line three and then line five let me go ahead and run it so right after it does the first line then you should see a message so that's the date 824 uh, 2014. By the way, this is coming from the text file. You know, let me close this browser, and then I do OK. See globalitering.com. It delivers, you know, uh, uh, live online QA training. Let me close this. To prove that it's actually pulling the information from the file, let me uh, do a quick thing. Let me open the text file and make a quick change. Here is our sample uh, underscore text one. So instead of date, oh, you know what? Let me add something here. Let me add um, time. So add a time there, and we are getting line three, which is globallytraining.com. We'll make a change. I'll just add um, say. my learning website and we are displaying this line with offline videos so it kind of you know kind of change the text on those three lines I'll just save it let us go ahead and run the script So look, we have the data and time, my learning website, and with offline video. So you know, it proves that you know it's actually reading the file um, at the runtime and displaying those lines. So that's how you uh, you know um, do a text uh, content output. Uh, file content output value. Now we'll look at XML. Uh, after this, we'll add another checkpoint, I mean to say output value. And here we'll go and uh, pick our sample data and do OK, sample XML file. And you know, uh, I think let me demonstrate this real quick for you. I'm going to first pick a course here. See, I get an error saying, you know, you must select either attribute or value try to pick a name no but I go to here because that's the actual value um, in there and let me open that uh, here is XML file that uh, you know we are trying to add it into our uh, you know output value so here as you can see there's a, a name one automation um, automation training and then we have summary and that you know what you see this is where the actual value is so we want to grab that so let's say I want to have, uh, grab this value from name one then from the summary from the summary grab that that's going to the global as well and then we will do um, this thing delivery mode so if you were to go back to that file, so we are trying to grab these three values from the XML file. So let me 
go back here and do OK. So now we have you know three more uh, columns within the global sheet. So what we did was we all we did. I mean. Oh, okay, yeah. We went to design, and then so we went to design, went to output value, then picked XML output value, and then use hit this button to browse to the desired XML file, and then clicked OK, which prompts you with this dialog box where it lets you browse the whole file, and we need to pick the actual value to add to that uh, output value I mean to the global spreadsheet or you know local sheet depending on your needs go ahead and cancel this so we have these three I mean similar to this we can display that as a message so I copy the same thing there all I have to do is change these values uh, the simplest way to get that is go to your object repository and XML checkpoint and you have it here so you can copy this whole thing bring it here and replace that Oops. Okay, let me get this value from here. That's the name of the actual column. Go to the last one. Copy that. Paste it there. So primarily all I did was I'm trying to display the messages that we capture with this uh, output value functionality from uh, you know applying onto the XML file and those three values that we uh, selected during the process you know once you select you know it goes into your data sheet and I'm going to just read those values from the data sheet and display it and data table is a, that's a default built in within UFT so I'm using that I'm just this is a column name and that's the sheet that you want to work with uh, since you're in action 2 if you do detail local it will go here but uh, because uh, the data or the columns are actually in the global sheet that's the reason why we use DT global a sheet let me go ahead and run this and we should you know see the date and the description all that from the text file and then it should switch to the XML file to display the information from there date the website the online QA training thing automation training thing that's here and then do OK you know this helps QA professionals enhance their automation skill that's that's where it's coming from and online that's coming from here so you know that's how you add um, uh, file content check uh, file not checkpoint I'm sorry file content output values and XML uh, output uh, values as well these two so it's pretty simple and straightforward all you have to do is go there pick the file that you want to work with pick the lines that you want to work with in a text file and if it's XML pick the actual attribute that you want to work with or you know capture the value well, that's it about those two output uh, value types, and we will look at database in the next video.